This is my friend who just won a game. But how did he get to this point and make his first earnings? Most importantly, how can you make your first earnings? Today's gonna be a very useful video, so make sure you like the video for the algorithm so this video gets pushed to more people. And thank you to To The Construction 995 for being a positive member of the community. This game is not an easy game. It has players like Fredoxy and Lars, who are two very, very good pro players. My friend actually lands Grand Glacier. This is a super good location to land, as it's their main location and doesn't have that many people landing there. You can see there are a couple people contesting, but nothing too crazy. The important thing with the location is to make sure that you have a location you can get off spawn at every single time. There's no point in making it to finals to die off spawn every game. He looks like he's going to push this player, but actually ends up looking for a different angle and eventually ends up disengaging. I can't tell you why he did this, but if I had to guess, it's probably because of the mats. He ends up leaving Grand Glacier with a Grey Auto Shotgun, an Epic Nemesis AR, and a Rare Drum Gun, and his only heals are 3 minis. He ends up looting the hotel just outside Grand Glacier, showing that even if you have to disengage from your POI, there is always possible to find a little POI, like this hotel that's been looted and no Lancer. You can see he's kind of moving around the edge of the map, he's in first zone, he managed to pull first zone, so it's a pretty easy rotate for him, he doesn't really have to do a whole lot, he's just kind of looking for extra spots to loot, and also looking to expand his mats a little bit. What he's trying to do here is to get slightly more into the middle of first zone, if you're more in the middle of first zone, you're going to have to rotate less into the second and third zones, meaning you're going to have an easier game. He gets a beam on this guy and then immediately disengages because we're looking at his loot and we're looking at his mats and it's not really looking the greatest at the moment. If you're taking a fight in finals and mid game at a choice, you want it to be a fight that you can 100% win. What I saw he do quite here is pretty interesting. He went to this spot, I don't know if it's somewhere he goes a lot, but it's around here. He spends about 3 minutes in this spot and he farms every single bit of metal, getting completely cat metal from this place. Good players will have 2 or 3 places that they can get metal from in case the others are taken. And I can tell you right now, if he had not have got this metal from all these gates, then he would not have won this gate. Something that I was surprised with is Liam actually went for Ireland. I know I shouldn't be as surprised because looking at his loot, he could definitely have an upgrade on some weapons and going for Ireland might actually give him a med kit. But it's still a risky play and I think he played this perfectly. While he was waiting for it to spawn, he was boxed up in a very, very replaceable material like wood. We see this guy was here up top, he was about to get on the island. Liam makes a ton of boxes around the main point of the island, making it his main priority. Once he has these boxes, the other player runs away because he knows that Liam just has the complete advantage in this situation. Even if he wanted to grab the island, he'd have to kill Liam to get to it because he has so many boxes around it. The island puts him in a much better position. He's now sitting there with a purple auto and a blue burst. In my opinion, the island and the metal was what gave him the means to win the game. One thing I like about this rotate is we see here that he has positioned himself right on the edge of this zone. The zone pulled over here, he's went right to the edge. A lot of players are over this side, and especially over here. It's important that he's positioned himself this side because zone is most likely going to pull over here, and I'll tell you why. The zone can't pull towards the sea anymore because it'd run out of land. You can't have a strictly over sea zone in Fortnite. So that means it has to pull either this way, this way, or this way. And he's in a good position for any of these rotates. Maybe apart from this way, this way is a bit of an unlucky one. But he's got two thirds of a chance of pulling a good zone here. And that's because of the position he's put himself in. And just like that, he pulls a good zone. He literally has no one on the path to his rotate to zone. And I'm sure he's gonna take full advantage of it. He pops the fizz and goes early, with no one in front of him, this means that he can secure territory before anyone else can get near him. One thing I like about this rotate is that he looks everywhere before going for it. He literally looks in every single possible place, he takes 30 damage and he's now well ahead of zone. I like the fact he stopped for a break mid rotate, this is something a lot of people forget that is a thing. They will try to do the entire rotate without building a box or a safety box. Liam sits there for a minute, he chills, he knows the fizz will heal him up for that final 30 health or so, and then goes again. You can even make a second stop mid-rotate, dodgy one, and this was certainly a dodgy rotate in my opinion. 
Although it was very well executed. He uses a fist to get 30 health back or so, and then starts to rotate. He comes across super weak player on the way, and that's an instant kill. He manages to cure like one or two of the mats here. He probably gets about five builds for it in total, though it's not a massive refresh. He finds extra medkit, so he drops the fizz, using the last of it to get into 100. He manages to get away with the fourth medkit. So he's now got four medkits, which is in a great position for heal off. He looks for something here, and I think this is probably the most defining mode to the game. He sees this and grabs it. Okay, look, look at this right here. There are two medallions, about six medkits, a fizz, some of the best loot in the game, the mythic shotgun. Anyone else would have gone for this. Liam goes for it, sees that guy coming over to look over, and then he jumps back up. He doesn't even look back for a shot. He's instantly in defensive mode. This is some of the best loot I've ever seen in my life. It is a crazy amount of loot and would drive anyone else on this crazy getting for it. And I would probably have thrown the game right here going for that loot. But he doesn't. He instantly moves on even though he's only got 300 mats, which is actually crazy. I don't think I've ever seen someone with this much discipline to not go for that loot. He gets tagged up a bit here, but he doesn't have that many mats, so I think he played it okay. He needs to conserve the mats here. He's still on decent health on 120 health, and he jumps out on this player with the auto shotgun. Most people still don't expect it, especially endgame. They're expecting people to play a bit more passive, so having someone jump out on you is a pretty big surprise. He takes him out and managed to get a slight refresh from that. He still only has eight builds after he manages to make it safely into zone. He pops one of the med kits, leaving him five for the heal off, which is probably plenty in a lobby like this. And then we're into top four. He's got three builds now, but everyone else is in zone healing off. By staying ahead of zone and making sure he's always got his guns reloaded and always got good health, He's put himself in a position where everyone else feels scared to come into the zone because they're also shambles. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game win. He managed to make it look easy. It was not easy. It was many months in the making. And I'm super proud that I have a friend that's one of my best friends that has made money off Fortnite. Hopefully seeing a game that is in no way relied to luck and is fully skill based will teach you guys how to make some money off Fortnite as well. Make sure you like the video for the algorithm and I will see you guys in the next one. Watch this video on the screen for another VOD review as it is an absolute banger.